be here. The full moon comes up in a couple of hours. Yeah, we should lock ourselves away so that water can attack us tonight. I'm sick of being scared of water. It used to be our thing, our air. What we need is to find a way to destroy that tentacle. But we have no idea how. I wish Lucas was here. At least he'd have a different perspective on all of this. Well, there is someone else who understands our situation. Will, if you want to ask for someone's help, it should be Zane's. He's known us the longest. We don't want someone who's going to risk other people's lives because of their ego. Come on, guys. There's enough room for both Zane and Will. I must do your juice. Oh, if you're, if you're busy, I'll... It's the least I can do. Sometimes I forget about, you know, you being a mermaid. Well, thank you. I want to talk to you about tonight. Right. Oh, it's full moon, isn't it? Yeah, about that. I kind of had a favour to ask you. We're planning on staying at the cafe tonight for safety, and Ricky wanted Zane to get on board, and I kind of said that I could get you on board. With Zane? To help. If you want to. And the others are okay with this? Sure. It'd be an honor. I know how dangerous it can be out there, so I'd love to help any way I can. So, you need my help. Well, I never thought I'd see this happen. Don't push it. Seriously? It's about time you let me help you out. You never offer. Not true. Or you're too busy hanging out with the guys. You don't already have plans for tonight, do you? There's nothing I can't work around. You can't really work around a full moon. OK, all right. If it means that much to you, I'll cancel my plans for tonight and help you set up the cafe. Promise? Promise. Hey, dude, what time does that card game start tonight? Uh, it's been cancelled. Private party. Oh, I was looking forward to that. I don't know. We'll, we'll do it another time. OK, cool. Well, um, I've got no other gigs lined up for tonight. So. Uh, it's a private party, as in you're not invited, and we've already organised our own entertainment. Oh, girls' night, huh? Yeah, something like that. How did you find out? Are you sure it's tonight? Try oxygen. That's not an O, that's a C. Really? Try carbon. Dad? Mm -hmm. About tonight, it's just going to be us three girls will be perfectly responsible. Why the cafe? Why not? Yeah, especially when Tina heard from Zoe that Alice told Ruby there's going to be a massive party there tonight. Just because Cleo's organised a sleepover doesn't mean you have to try and ruin it. But I was When you're Cleo's age, you can do the same. Welcome to watch a DVD with us if you've done your homework. Oh, we're closed. I know you closed. The uh, girls invited me. Oh, well, you must have misunderstood. Don't think so. Uh, they want me on hand to help out in case. And they asked you to help? Yeah. Hey. Hey, glad you make it. Listen, I know you're planning on staying here tonight, but I think my boat shed might be a better place. Is that right? Think about it. It's smaller, easier to seal up. You could give me a hand getting it ready. Are you, are you kidding? Come on, it's for the girls. I don't need you telling me what's good for the girls. OK, that's enough. I'm the only one who gets to say what's good for the girls. We're going to stay here tonight and we're all going to get along, OK? I'm going home to get my stuff. Can I leave you two alone without blood being spilled? Of course. There's no problem here. Yeah, there's no problem at all.
Dad. Sam, I'm off. Have you got a toothbrush? Have a good time. Call if you need anything. Done. Oh, just have a good time. I will. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. I trust you. Bye, Dad. I don't feel very well. What's wrong? It's really... <gasps> tired? Like I need a long, uninterrupted sleep. Perhaps an early night's in order. Yeah, maybe you're right. Good night. Good night. Good night, darling. Where are all the girls? Sorry, we're a private party on tonight. Yeah, I know, that's why we're here. Sorry, you're gonna have to go. <laughs> what, are you gonna make me? If I have to. Not your place, though, is it? And Ricky said that we're Yeah, forget that. They're my friends. They're welcome anytime. What about our plans? What about them? He is not gonna like this. Well, she's my girlfriend, so just let me deal with her. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? Uh, we're gonna play some cards. Yeah. But you said... Yeah, I know what I said. We've been through this and I need the cafe tonight. So you take the office, we'll take the cafe, everyone will stay out of everyone's way and it'll all be fine. We won't interrupt your pyjama party, right guys? <laughs> <laughs> no. Can I go with you in private? Yes. How could you do this to me? Well, why does everything always have to be about you? Every now and then, on a full moon, I just need you to be a little bit more understanding. Is that so much to ask? Why is it that every time I think you've got this mermaid thing under control, there's always some big drama? I didn't ask Water to attack us. It's not just that. Then what? Is it Will? I can't believe this. You're jealous. No, I'm not jealous. Hey, I just... I don't get why you need him more than you need me. Because he's actually willing to put us first. So am I. Is everything okay? He's not welcome here. I want him to leave. Fine, then I'm leaving too. I wonder why I never ask you for help. Ricky, do you think No, that's... I'll deal with this without either of you. Watch me. Sang doesn't understand. Think? Well, he hasn't seen that thing. He doesn't know how dangerous it is. He doesn't care. Well, I do. I, I know how angry you are about this, but now is not the right time to confront that thing. Let's just get through tonight. OK? OK. Let's leave Zane to it. Go back to the boat shed. Lock ourselves in and rethink things tomorrow. At least if we're all in the same place, I can protect you. What? No, I just mean that. Let's if get we're... something straight. I don't need anybody to protect me. You got that?
looking like a bull. Oh, yeah. right? I bet this thing. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you made it! Come join the party! What's going on? Where's Ricky? Beast me, she just took off. Where? I don't know, I figured she'd go find you, tell you what a bad guy I am. Well, she didn't, so where is she? Will, hi. Ricky's gone. She had a big fight with her idiot boyfriend and she took off. Heading straight for Maker Island. She can't. It's really dark and it's a full moon. She wants to destroy the water tentacle. I tried to stop her. We have to get her back here. Hey! What are you doing here? Out of my way. I'm here to party. No, you're not. Get home or I'm calling Dad. How do I put this? No. Why should you have all the fun? Well? What do you want? I was just looking for Will. He's not here. We were going out tonight. Really? Looks like he stood you up. No, I'd say he's probably already waiting at the cafe. <laughs> I doubt it. I know my brother. He's got cold feet and I don't blame him. You must be really threatened by me. Don't flatter yourself. It's a shame we can't get along for Will's sake. I won't lose any sleep over it. You know, I would invite you along to the cafe tonight, but you're not really welcome there anymore, are you? And you're not welcome here. So get out. Fine. I need to go and find Ricky, but I can't leave Kim here. Well, I'm not a babysitter. You're not much of anything these days, are you, Zane? Look, you're the reason that Ricky's out there all alone with that thing. And you don't even care. You're just sitting here playing stupid games. Ricky needs to know that she can rely on you. We all do. You can rely on then me. Then prove it. Shut this down, take him home, and let me go and find Ricky, please. Excuse me. Hey, hey. Alright, uh, this is over. I'm shutting the cafe down. Oh, but you can't do that. I can do what I want. It's my place. Dude, can I just play one more song? I, I don't want to let my fans down. I'll get over it. Come on, everyone, get your stuff. You're out. Thanks, man. Oh, we came here to party. Is that right? Satori, I was just about to bring her home. The question is, what is she doing here in the first place? Cleo made me come. She said all the cool girls would be here and I'd be mad if I didn't show up. Not so fast, young lady. But... Dad... I don't want to hear any buts. Just a very good explanation for all of this. What's going on? It's... Ricky.
need to go. You're not going anywhere until I get some answers. How could you let your little sister sneak out of the house to a party? I didn't let her sneak out of the house, and this isn't a party. Really? Boys, junk food, music. Looks like a party. Sure does. It is a sleepover. What's he doing here? Me. We were just practicing some karaoke. Were you now? Don't believe her, Dad. She wasn't even invited. Neither was I, apparently. What? I love karaoke. She said you'd be too embarrassing. That's why she didn't invite you. No, I didn't say that. Too embarrassing, you say? You. You know any real rock and roll? Yes. Let's go. I'm gonna kill you. I think I'm gonna get out of here anytime soon. Doing my best to look good for tonight. I said, baby, you make me feel great. Tentacle came up. No, and... it's okay. Will save me. He got here just in time, didn't you, Will? Thanks, Will. I knew we could count on you. Dad sure loves Elvis. Don't remind me. Ricky! <laughs> Are you okay? What happened? The water tried to attack her. Will got there just in time. Yeah, I bet he did. At least I was there. Call it, guys. Hey. It'll never happen again, I promise. I'll be here for you from now on. Okay. No, you're not just gonna forgive him like that, are you? I think I'm just gonna get my stuff and, and go home. Well, I'll take you. Just let me close up here first. Do you think she's all right? Maybe she's in shock.
Okay. What happened out there? You spoke to it and the water stopped. It was like it was under your control. And why are you lying to Cleo and Bella? Why did you tell them I saved you? What's the big deal? It's not true. You saved me. You came out to Mako to look after me and now they think you did. I came after you because I care about you. <sighs> I can't do this right now. I think you should tell Cleo and Bella. Tell them what exactly? It responded to you that it, it listened to you. I don't even know that for sure. Well, then I'll tell them what I saw. No. Why? I don't want them to know. Promise me you won't tell them. Please. You owe me that much. Okay. You can trust me. Thank you.